The city of Derby was a market town in the 18th century, but grew sharply in the Industrial Revolution through its cotton and silk spinning trade. Derby was one of the first places in England where this great upsurge in production took hold, and the impressive 18th century mills on the banks of the River Derwent make up a single UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's explore the best things to do in Derby. Number 1 Derby Museum and Art Gallery This multifaceted museum goes into Derby's natural history, geology, military history, and archaeology. But what makes it unmissable is the art gallery and collection of paintings by Joseph Wright of Derby. An Enlightenment figure, Wright is celebrated for his mastery of chiaroscuro and for crystallizing the atmosphere of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. Number 2 Pickford's House Museum the most graceful of all of Derby's Georgian townhouses was built in 1770 by the architect Joseph Pickford as both a family home and a showcase for his talents. Since 1988 this grade I listed house has been a museum with rooms preserved from different periods over the last 250 years. Number 3 Derby Cathedral For most of its life Derby Cathedral has been known as All Saints Church and only became a cathedral when the Diocese of Derby was formed in 1927. The building goes back to the 16th century, but its nave and chancel were reconfigured in the first decades of the 18th century. The oldest part of the building is the perpendicular Gothic tower, 65 meters high and raised between 1510 and 1532. Number 4 Mark Eaton Park More than a million people a year come to Derby's Mark Eaton Park, in 207 acres on the site of a former estate. The 18th century Georgian Hall was demolished after the war, but the orangery remains and houses a cafe with a pretty view of the formal gardens. What brings so many people to Mark Eaton Park is the huge range of activities and facilities on offer in summer. Number 5 Darley Park Head up the Derwent from the center of Derby and you'll arrive at Darley Park. 80 acres of rolling fields and forest on both banks of the river. The park is on the edge of Darley Abbey, an 18th-century mill village part of the Derwent Valley Mills World Heritage Site, and now a northern suburb of Derby. Darley Park was opened to the public in 1921 on the very same day as Mark Eaton Park, and is renowned for its flower gardens. Number 6 Royal Crown Derby Visitor Center one of the two oldest surviving fine porcelain manufacturers in England, Royal Crown Derby was founded around 1750 by a Huguenot immigrant from Saxony. Originally known simply as Derby, the brand was permitted to carry the Royal Crown backstamp in 1773 by George III and from then on gained the title Crown Derby. There's a lot to get up to at the visitor center in the heart of Derby. Number 7 Derwent River when you're down on the west bank of the Derwent in Derby, it can be hard to believe you're still in a city. Such is the abundance of parks and foliage on the river, and the lack of intrusive high-rise buildings. There's a two-mile trail that you can walk, starting in the north at St. Mary's Bridge, looping around the base recreation ground in the east, and then heading north through the old center of the city up Iron Gate. Number 8 Cock Abbey this country estate outside Ticknall gets its name from a former 12th century Augustinian priory, which was on the site, but dissolved by Henry VIII in the 16th century. The Baroque house and its various outbuildings are from the start of the 18th century, and for nearly 300 years until 1985 Cock Abbey would remain with the Harpa family. Number 9 Kettleston Hall A Palladian masterpiece, Kettleston Hall was designed in the 1760s by Robert Adam at the start of his illustrious career and is the seat of the Curzon family. The Curzons have Norman origins and have been based at Kettleston since the middle of the 17th century. Not intended as a family home, the hall's stupendous central block was constructed for Sir Nathaniel Curzon as a temple for the arts, somewhere to show off a rich art collection and host lavish entertainment. Number 10 Derby Jail once one of five jails in Derby, the prison on Friargate, a few doors down from the Pickford House Museum, has been turned into a museum that opens on Saturdays. Many people were hanged in this building in the 18th and 19th centuries, and the museum has contemporary accounts of these executions, replica gallows, and preserved cells. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.